Our today's topic of discussion is classification, epidemiology and etiology of myopia. Myopia is a significant, prevalent disease in children with increasing rates of progression. With over 80 million reported myopic children worldwide there are considerable socio-economical and public health concerns. Moreover, high myopia is associated with potentially blinding complications such as glaucoma, retinal detachment, and myopic macular degeneration. A substantial amount of research has been done to determine the etiology of myopia, the risk factors associated with myopia, techniques to prevent myopia and ways to treat myopia. Myopia nearsightedness, is an ocular disorder in which the optical power of the eye is too strong for the corresponding axial length. Light rays from an object at infinity entering a non-accommodating myopic eye are converged too strongly and focus in front of the retina, the far point of a myope is located in front of the eye, between the cornea and optical infinity. Visual acuity of an uncorrected myope will continue to decrease as objects are located further away from the far point and closer to optical infinity. Conversely, visual acuity is greater for objects located between the far point of the eye and the near point of accommodation. Myopia is generally classified into two groups, non-pathologic and pathologic myopia. Both groups have separate disease processes, clinical features, and prognoses. Non-pathological myopia is also commonly referred to as physiological, simple or school myopia. In non-pathologic myopia the refractive structures of the eye develop within normal limits, however the refractive power of the eye does not correlate with the axial length. The degree of non-pathologic myopia is usually minimal to moderate, less than 6.00 diopters, and onset usually begins during childhood or adolescence. Myopic progression generally continues throughout the adolescent growth period and slows or becomes stable early in the second decade. Less commonly, a second myopic shift may occur late during the second decade or early in the third decade. Pathologic myopia is generally classified as a high myopic refractive error that is progressive and generally presents very early in childhood. Pathologic myopia is usually defined as spherical equivalent greater than 6.00 diopters or axial length greater than 26.5 mm. Patients with high axial myopia are at a greater risk of developing progressive retinal degeneration and other vision-threatening pathology. See Pathology section for more detail. Myopia is a complex disease with a multifactorial etiology. It is well documented that pathological non-syndromic high myopia and associated syndromic high myopia show evidence of familial inheritance. Although non-syndromic high myopia is most commonly inherited in an autosomal dominant pattern, multiple chromosomal loci have been identified which suggests genetic heterogeneity. High myopia is also a symptom of several multi-system complex diseases. The genetic mutations for these syndromes have been identified and the subsequent structural defects of the eye are most commonly related to connective tissue and retina. This type of myopia is only a small proportion of the overall myopic population and to date, there is no known isolated gene associated with physiologic myopia. The prevalence of myopia varies greatly between different populations and ethnic groups. The prevalence rates of myopia in the United States have been reported as 20-50% and as high as 80-90% in some parts of Asia. The majority of the myopic population consists primarily of patients with non-pathologic myopia, approximately 66% of patients with myopia have less than 2 diopters D of myopia and 95% of myopic patients have less than 6 diopters. In 2003 a multi-center study the US reported significantly different prevalence rates among children of four different ethnic groups. The highest rates were found among Asian children with a prevalence of 18.5% and Hispanic children with 13.2%. Lower prevalence rates were found in African American children with 6.6% followed by Caucasian children with a prevalence rate of 4.4%. A large epidemiological study in 2000 by Lin et al. showed that myopic prevalence rates for Taiwanese children were reaching 80%. It is reported that there are over 80 million myopic children worldwide. 